Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. I am playing a new game, Stonies. This was recommended by a friend of mine. Um, she plays it and seems to like it. And she said that if we both play it together, um, we can help each other out. I had started recording the actual introduction to the game um, with the opening tutorials, but for some reason it stopped recording. So to catch you up, I met my Stony. He's my village person. I learned how to have him uh, do tasks, which is you activate him and then select a task, in this case have him pick berries. I was also instructed to create a workshop. A workshop requires resources, um, in this case 10 food and 20 stone. As you can see I'm very close to getting stone. My stony can collect resources himself, but so can I. By clicking on a resource uh, right in the environment, it will harvest and then I can collect it. Uh, you're here with me now. We're going to, um, oh, here we have our tutorial. We now have 20 stone we need for the tool workshop. Tap on the construction site to begin construction. Um, the materials are ready. Your stony can now start building the workshop. Oh, our stony has to do it. His other task is completed. We collected the food, and now we're gonna have him build the workshop. Um, uh, heavenly, heavenly crystals allow you to work more miracles. Use the miracle of completion to finish construction immediately. Oh, okay. So that's, I'm guessing, these purple things over here. Um, or just wait out the time and construct, collect more resources. So let's see how much time. This is going to only take 35 seconds. So let me show you what else I've learned. Um, we have a menu up here, the little stone building which shows you the stuff that we need to build. Um, different buildings that I have not had access to yet. Oh, I didn't look at these. Food and a lot of crystals. Okay, well, we're not gonna do those. Um, let's close this. Also, we can collect uh, resources in the environment by tapping them. I haven't tried tapping on any animals yet, but a small resource only takes a few seconds and you get one resource from it. Oops. It went away. Larger resources, let's find a berry bush, can be tapped on multiple times uh, to collect the resource. And you get a you get one. Oops. And then we've got trees to get wood. Um, I have found that while you can do this, uh, the stonies are far more efficient. Um, let's complete our construction here. Boom, our workshop. Craft hand axes and collect stones. So we're gonna uh, activate our stony. Um, oh wait, it wants us to do stuff. The tool workshop turned out great. Let's see what we can make here. Select a tool workshop. Okay. We wanna do a hand axe. Excellent, now tap on craft, boom. We need 20 stones. Come on, stony. I think I wanna give him a real name. Oh, he has a real name. Fleetfoot, he's fast. I'm gonna have him collect the stone. Ha, huh, he has a name, that's awesome. And you can see that he used up some food resources as he did stuff. Uh, another thing that we learned in the early tutorial is, um, oops, go away please. His, oh. His food meter's up in the right corner top right corner. Uh, he's already collected the stone. We got one. Come here, Stony. We want you to collect. Ooh, that's too big. It needs a tool. Here, collect these stones then. Um, to feed him, we've collected food. It's in our little storage bin here. And we just grab the, fin the food that's in the storage and drag it up to his food meter. And it fills up. Um, while he's doing that, let's grab some food. So while he collects stone, we can move through the environment and collect resources as well. I kind of like that I can um, work on resources while he's also doing stuff. That way it's not just one of these sit and watch farm games where, you know, oh, he's busy, so you have to wait for him to be done. No, I can go do things too, uh, which is kind of, uh, I think, oh, we got little plants. Come on, Stony, you got to stay busy. Um, let's find another, 
another uh, rock pile for him to work on. I don't see any. And he can't do that because that thing is too big. Okay, I will just have you collect bushes then. And I will collect the rocks. If you attempt to collect too many resources at once, a timer starts. So like if I hit this bush here, oh, that doesn't collect. This bush here, and then while that finishes I hit this bush here, that one gets delayed until that bush finishes collecting. And that happens with all of them. Um, I haven't been fast enough to try and collect a whole bunch of stuff and see how many times I can queue things up. Uh, looks like just three. So that's how it goes. And then it, it lands out on the environment and goes to collect. We'll get some wood here. He's ready. When you see the check mark, your uh, caveman, your stony, is ready to collect. And there's our food. Okay, buddy. Um, let's have you come over here and collect some mushrooms. Ta-da! And let's check our resource thing. We have 11 of our 20 stone. Uh, stone resource, divine favor once. Let's see what our bird wants to tell us. You'll need 20 stones as raw material. You shouldn't be a problem for you and your stony. Okay. Um, can I collect from these? Oops. Circle of worship. No, I don't want to do that. Can I? I can collect this little one. And there we go. Can I collect from the big ones or do I also? Oh no, I can collect from the big ones. But he needs a tool. So I can do this. Oh, and he is idle. Um, because his work is done. Ta-da! Okay, buddy. I'm going to have you collect berries. I'm going to continue breaking this rock. Uh, how many stone do we have? We have 15. I'm breaking stones all day long. I don't have anything funny to really say, I guess. Um, collect some stones here. We can queue these up. And then queue that one up. Collect that one. Ta-da! Oops! Something's happening. I guess we got enough stones. Start. One hand axe. Start. Cool. Oh. Let's collect the food, and then let's have him. Come on, Fleetfoot. Let's take a look at Fleetfoot. What do we know about him? Oh, we know he's busy now. I can't click on him while he's busy. Nope. Okay, so we've got two minutes. Uh, apparently he's going to sit down and do stuff. Let's see what our bird has to say. We already know that. What is this? We have to craft two hand axes. So while he is doing that, let's get some more stone. So we'll break this up, and then we're also going to collect some sticks. Sticks. Oh, this going to require a little bit more breaking up, more breaking up. So I'm just going to keep queuing up um, these things, and as you can see, um, they're going to continue to harvest in order while I queue them up. I kind of like this because, like I say, it, it, it allows me to kind of stay busy while he's busy, and there's still 45 seconds here. I'm sure that like most of these farming games, these resource gathering and development games, in the future, some of these things are probably going to take forever. Um, but being able to idly move through the game and find other things to do, I think is kind of great. Um, so, there we are. Okay, well, I think that's what I've got now for a first look at Stoney's. Um, and Fleafoot, he got 10 seconds. We'll let you see the first axe here being completed. 
probably chipping away at the flint to give it an edge. It's time to collect the finished hand axes. Very good. So we hit the check mark. Two hand axes. Fantastic. Now we got tools. Now open the inventory and drag the hand axe onto your stony. Hold, drag, let go. Uh, it has a life meter here. Um, oh, so this allows him to make use of fallen trees and cut tufts of grass. So let's do it. Uh, we drag the hand axe and give it to our stony. Ooh, what do we got here? Build a village. This is the era slate. You can see the tasks for your era down below. Oh, okay. So we have to build a house and take a picture of some people. Um, complete one task. Complete a task, have a check mark. The upcoming tasks have a lock. Close the window and keep going. You're doing great. Okay. Oh, close the window. Next, we should build a fiber station? Any branches from the ground are fallen trees and grass. Well, I've already done a lot of those. So, we have to go to the building, find the fiber station. We have, I've already collected a lot of stuff, but uh, we're going to need food. Um, we're going to select this, and I don't want to lose all those resources. It's like right in the middle of the resources. This is all resources. Uh, I guess this is kind of an empty zone here. So we will put the fiber station right there. Click OK. Ta-da! And I only lost one fiber. Collect grass. Come on, Stony. Uh, Fleetfoot. Let's see how quick you can do this. And while he's doing that, I'm going to queue up some things to collect. Some wood. And some stone. And I might as well collect the grass also to help out. He's using his hand axe, it sounds like. Uh, we still need six more fiber. And we're going to need some food. It looks like he's going to be getting hungry here pretty soon. Let's give him the mushrooms we've collected. Oops. Uh, how come I can't grab them? There we go. Uh, I don't know why it won't let me feed him. Let's collect the grass. Eight grass, that was enough of that. So that means that he should be able to build this. Construction hasn't been started yet. Oh, I have to push the button. There, now I can ask him. Come on, Fleetfoot. Start your building. Thanks, bud. Um, he's almost out of food. Isn't that mushroom? Well, I can give him that. Why can't I give him mushrooms? Oh, there we go. I don't know what was going on there. Okay, well, uh, thanks for joining me um, for, for our first look at Stonies. Um, we saw a uh, basic uh, collection of resources. We met Fleetfoot, my Stone Age Stony dude. Uh, I don't think he's actually stoned. Um, and we explored some of the basic mechanics of things. Um, I'm going to keep playing this for a while. I'm going to advance a little bit. And uh, I'll be back and show you guys a follow-up video. As for this one, I think we're done. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.